Hey guys, welcome to another episode with the Growing Wild Farm and Garden channel. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I have grown, how I keep track of it, and then I haven't really figured out what's died and what I don't have anymore, so I'm going to go back through the garden and uh, take you with me so we can discover what died off before it really ever had a chance to go. So here we go. So this is what I call my garden map. I'm sure there's other names for it, garden plan, um, all sorts of stuff. You can kind of already see names of the different various things that I had decided I was going to plant and in fact started. Um, and you can also see the X's where um, some of the things that I already know died have died. So my plan is to go through this garden with my map and figure out what I have growing and what I don't. So right here is in fact a white cloud bell pepper. It's the white bell pepper. It's going to come in cream colored. This is a passion flower fruit because the chocolate bell pepper and the quadrato di Rossi that I had growing here both died, unfortunately for me. According to the map, this one is a coral bell pepper and a mini bell pepper. You can just see it because it got eaten up and it's just tiny and trying to grow back. I'm going to let it try to grow back. In this barrel is supposed to be California Red Wonder and Big Red. So that's the Big Red, the California Wonder died. I've been putting two peppers per, um, uh, per barrel, per drum, because I know that it can handle that many. I have done that before. This lovely thing is the Yellow Monster pepper. I had an elephant ear, but it died. This one is going to be the paprika. It's an Alma paprika pepper, and that should be what that is, but you can see all the flowers on it. It's doing okay. There's another passion fruit because the black Hungarian jalapeno that you can just barely see sticking out right there died, or I'm gonna say that it died because it's just a stick and it's not really doing well. And it was planted with a Tabasco pepper, but the Tabasco pepper died. This was supposed to be my serrano peppers and my jalapenos, but they're dead. I have actually reseeded those in containers. So we shall see how that goes. Now, if we look around, these two next barrels were supposed to be okra, they died. Then basil, it died. And then this was supposed to be Brad's Atomic, but it's not, or I'm sorry, no, it's supposed to be cilantro. Now, my correction says it's an orange mini bell pepper from those snacking peppers that you get at the store. We, we're just trying to see if we can grow them. That's it, just an experiment. Here's the Brad's Atomic. This should be Brad's Atomic. Uh, Brad's Atomic grape, if you don't know what it is. That should be it. It's relatively small. I wasn't expecting it to be so small. This is a mystery tomato that I, it just, it grew somewhere and I threw it in here and I'm thinking it's another Brad's Atomic. This is supposed to be, let's see, this is, well, I don't know. This is either another Brad's Atomic or it could be a Dances with Smurfs, but I, I'm pretty sure it's another Brad's Atomic. I ended up with a couple of them, I think. Either that or it's a random cherry. But in all of these, you can see we're supposed to be peppers. Sunbright, Macrani, Toro, Corbachi. They all died. So we get more tomatoes. Here's my Dances with Smurfs. You can see, well, if it'll, there it goes. You can see the dusk, the blue dusk on them. It's even better on right here. Beautiful. They're my first year with these. This was supposed to be a yellow bell pepper and a king of the north. The king of the north is right there. So far doing okay. It's just starting to put on some flowers. This is another one that failed, so we've moved it into a yellow mini bell pepper, again, from those snacking peppers. It's really my kid's experiment. He wanted to do it. It was supposed to be Ruia and Kachina. This is Gatherer's Gold and a Bullnose. So both of those have actually made it, and they're doing okay. These, that's a lipstick pepper, and there was a Jimmy Nardello, but it died. Of course it died. We were gonna have a sugar rush peach pepper and a banana pepper, but as you can see, they've both died. Next is the Fantasy White and the Habanada. 
Habanat is, they're both really small. They're not, I don't know why they're not doing so well, um, especially compared to the rest of them. They were all planted at the exact same time. This barrel was supposed to be my Ajivarsky and another AG Polange, but my Ajivarsky has died. Oh, you can see the Polange is still there. And these are my AG Dolce's, both of them. So they're doing okay. That one's about to actually put on some flowers. I'm pretty excited about that. Now, like I said, I've been gardening for quite some time and even I still really screw things up. So give yourself a little bit of a, a grace there or a little bit of, of space to fail. It's okay, failing happens. It's part of the deal. Moving on. So this did have my Nootka soft neck garlic, Nootka rose but it is now a um, cantaloupe. It's an Israel cantaloupe that I pulled from way back over there where there's a lot more shade over by the fence that I was hoping to grow it on. This is rhubarb. You can see that, that that's actually two years old now. We've been harvesting off that, it's okay. This is a wonderful tomato that you can see. According to my map, this is supposed to be a super sweet 100. The one next to it is supposed to be a white cherry. That is not a white cherry, I don't think. I am pretty sure that's not white cherry. This very well might be a super sweet 100. Excuse me while I kill this army worm. It's munching on my freaking tomatoes. Oh, I hate those things. Anyway, you can see these are definitely a cherry type. They are producing really well. They're producing like the super sweet 100s that we had last year, so I'm pretty sure those that's what that is. This though, that shape, that shape does not look like a white cherry. So I'm just waiting to see what happens. Um, based on everything that I think that it could be is probably aroma, uh, based on that shape. So we're just gonna have to see if they get any longer and any bigger, or what color they turn. That's been, that's been my life this whole year. So, we'll find out. Next on the list was supposed to be a fuzzy peach, which I took a clone off the Super Sweet 100, or what I assumed is a Super Sweet 100, and I put it in here. Um, obviously, it's, you know, small. That's fine. That's okay. That's supposed to be Verbinia and Catmint, so we'll see how they do. I, it's just I didn't have anywhere else to put them at the moment. As you can see, we were supposed to have fuzzy peach and an Amish paste and a San Mazzano and aroma. And as you can see, that's not there. There are some volunteer beans from last year that are finally actually giving me beans. So these are the Blue Lake um, or Kentucky Wonder. I don't know because I don't know what trash I put in there to compost that didn't compost. They volunteered, so I let them go. This is a clone off that. I am pretty sure almost almost exactly sure because it's the biggest one on here that that is a pineapple pineapple tomato and based on the size it sure looks like it and that's a clone of it so it's doing pretty good too so going back into what's growing this is a thornless blackberry bush that has been absolutely demolished by bagworms um that I have yet to really figure out a good way to do anything about. I've just been picking them off and squishing them when I see them. But you can see it's throwing out new canes, but the old ones have just been demolished. And yeah, you can see all the berries that I've left on here because this is my first year with them and I have, I'm learning, learning how to even do this. So don't, you know, don't hammer me too much. This barrel is actually edamame. We've gotten a little bit of a harvest off of it, so I'm not uh, not too mad. This, as you can see here, blackberry soy jade bush bean. So here's a jade bush bean. Here's a jade bush bean. There's actually like, I don't know, five to seven of them in here, and I need to pick. Look at all that. I need to pick some of these beans out, man, for dinner tonight, because we are having chicken fried chicken, y'all. There's another jade. There's the peanut plants. Moving on. So that's all there. So we're gonna turn around over here. Whoa, sorry the wind. You can see this barrel all off by its lonesome. Had garlic in it, we've already pulled it. 
I haven't done anything else with it because we're actually going to take this dirt, put it over there, and then take this barrel out of here. We're going to move it. Um, this barrel had rando pepper. <laughs> so this was one of my pepper roulettes. Um, it was covered by the blackberry for a minute. So what we were going to do the same thing with this one. We were going to take all the dirt out, put it somewhere over there, and then remove this barrel. And at the end of the season, the idea is to take these blackberry bushes and actually move them somewhere else too, but we haven't figured out where yet. Moving on. Over in that barrel, there was actually more garlic. Silver rose garlic. We pulled it already. There's nothing else in there. Now you can see here that my beans are just doing miserably, and I'm, it's probably time to pull them, but this, these, are the yellow top crop bush beans, and they were amazing this year. They did really, really well. Um, so I'm actually probably gonna grow these again. But right up over here in this area is another either Kentucky Wonder or Blue Lake. And again, there's just not enough, I don't think there's enough difference to tell the difference, but if anybody knows, please tell me, let me know. Cause I can't, I, I don't know which one it is, but if there's a solid good way for me to tell the difference, if anybody knows, it'd be cool if you could tell me. What was in here were my sugar snap peas, but I pulled them because, you know, they, it was getting really hot. They were, it was ready for them to just go. There's more yellow bush beans right there in front. It looks pretty, uh, pretty terrible that need to be pulled. And then these are my hyacinth beans. I've got white that just decided to start flowering today. And I've got purple. I love these flowers and they bring the bumblebees and really that's the only reason I got them. I like them. Do I really need any other good reason? This was my green crescent, Sultan's crescent bean. There's a windstorm that came through. We've had lots and lots of wind and those storms have demolished my runner beans, these beans, and you saw down there that Blue Lake or Kentucky Wonder, they're not doing so well. They're trying to make a comeback. You can see the runner beans trying to make a comeback, but I might just pull them. I don't know, I haven't decided. And then here, you can see I have cow pea plus yellow. I did have some more yellow bush beans in here, but I pulled them because they mostly got eaten. This is my Ozer, uh, I'm sorry, Ozark Razorback cow pea. It's a black eyed pea, for those of you that know that versus cow pea, because I hadn't heard of a cow pea. So these are pear trees that came off of mature runners. Um, from my aunt's house, and I'm sorry if the jerking keeps happening, but freaking flies are not leaving me alone today. Probably the heat. But anyway, these two I put in pots, but they're actually growing into the ground. I need to move them desperately, um, or just put them in the ground right here, and I think that's what we're gonna do, but you can see they're getting pretty tall, and I need to prune the crap out of them because I never wanted them to get mature height. My goal was to actually keep them relatively small. So there's some pear trees. They have flowered, but they have not produced yet. They are going on four years old now. These guys are compost volunteers. They are pears, I'm sorry, pears. These are plums. And uh, there's two of them in this pot. I put them in this pot because I just didn't know what to do with them. I figured if they're gonna volunteer themselves, why not just uh, let them grow? But you can see they're not doing well in the heat either. And uh, we think we finally have a place for them that I'll show you in just a second. These, believe it or not, are more compost volunteers. These are peach trees that we moved permanently to the front yard because I'm obviously out of room in the backyard. But uh, these again, I'm gonna keep pruned. And they're only two years old, I'm pretty sure, two seasons, two and a half seasons. And they flowered and we have, obviously it's been eaten, so I'm not worried about it, but there's a peach on it. There's a peach on this tree. So I know next year, we might very well have a handful of peaches. Awesome. I'm all about some food. All right, so now, here's the area we're thinking about for the plum trees, right here in, in what is called the hell patch or the hell garden between the sidewalk and the road. I need to make sure that uh, the trees are right for it and that my city doesn't have any problems with having trees so close to the road. Although I intend to, just like the rest of them, keep them relatively small. I have no interest 
in, excuse my neighbor's air conditioner as we walk by it. I have no interest in giant trees, especially by the road, because that's where my husband has to park. And so I'm not interested in having a bunch of just giant trees on the property. Um, but I am interested in fruit. I feel gross right now. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's the garden. That is the farm right now, except for our dog that I keep forgetting to mention. But she's inside because she's old and hurty. And she's got allergies and we, we don't need that. So that's it, guys. That's all I got. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit about the garden map and everything and what I've got going on so that you can follow along as we go. And um, that's really it. That was it. I just wanted to show you the garden. We didn't really get to, to go through everything I was growing, but that's what's going on in season 2020. And I'm actually trying to count the days to see how many other things I can start. I've already started some seeds for watermelon because I have just enough time for some watermelon. Um, but yeah, guys, um, follow with me. If you liked this video, of course, hit that like button. Um, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications when I do that next video on the bees or um, whenever I do some succession planting because that's what that's called. Um, other than that, I'm looking at these clouds hoping for some rain and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again.